I was never the underdog. When I was going to the race, I rolled up to the starting line, everybody was looking at me. Like, that's just how it was. And now, because I've had a couple injuries, I'm gonna roll up to Hangtown, there's not one person gonna be looking at me. I welcome the challenge. It's just something new for me to conquer. There's no reason why I shouldn't be out there winning on the podium every round. I've done everything I need to do. I've put everything I've got into this, so maybe I should retire if it doesn't work. I'm sure he doesn't want to let people down, not just his parents, but Mitch and the guys that are his employers now. That's the only fear. It gets to a point where you almost forget about it being fun because there's so much money involved and you have people expecting you to win. It's just a suffer fest, whoever can suffer the most. I thrive in the outdoors because of the fact that it's brutal. You're hitting breaking bumps, you're hitting deep ruts, you're putting a lot of hours, a lot of training, and it's the heat of the summer. There's someone out there that can be a thorn in my side, but it's the challenge of figuring out how to beat them. That's what's exciting. The 250 class will either provide the footing for a successful motocross career or become the quicksand that sinks a young man's dreams. In eight episodes over the next four months, we will examine the lives of 250 class racers as they contend for the 2016 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship.